Hi everyone, welcome to Quiet Waters Farming Craft. My name is Joanne and I'm going to be making some fudge today. Now I've seen a few videos out there of just the vanilla fudge, but I'm actually going to make a chocolate peanut butter fudge today. Um, now it's really up to you what kind of brand of peanut butter you want. You just need a small jar and I actually got this on sale, the um, Peter Pan, and it is a 16 ounce jar and then I have um, just chocolate. It's chocolate fudge icing, so if you want to pick up the store brand or you want to get the Pillsbury or, you know, the Duncan Hines or whichever one that you want, that's completely up to you. So I already heated this up and then I started to heat this up and it started to spark because I couldn't get all of the thing around here. So I actually put it into a bowl and we're going to cook this for, or microwave it for one minute and I put all this in the bowl. It's all gone. And then I did heat this up for one minute in my bowl. So, or I left this one in here because I was able to get all the stuff off. But if you can't get all of this white stuff off of the peeling, like when you peel it off, uh, you want to just go ahead and put that in your bowl and heat it up. Uh, so that way you're not causing it to spark like I just did. So, um, just waiting for that to get done. But yeah, you can get whatever kind of peanut butter that you want. Now, if you just want to do a vanilla, then just get the vanilla ice, the vanilla icing. Now, if you want to get the one that's the crunchy peanut butter, that's completely up to you if that's how you like your fudge. So, we have never tried this before, so I'm really excited to see how it turns out. Okay. All right, and we are pretty creamy in there. Like I said, you just want to do them each for a minute. So I'm going to angle my camera down here and move my strap back. All right, let's angle this down here. Okay. So move that. So this is pretty creamy here. So I'm going to just pour my icing in there. Now, if I was you, I would go ahead, if you get both of these off and you're heating them up, I would just do this yourself and not let your children because they could possibly um, burn themselves. So, uh, just keeping in mind that, get everything in your bowl and then let them stir it. Okay. Let's give this a quick little stir. And I kind of like how it has the little swirls in it. So I might not fully mix every bit of it up just to where it kind of gives it a little bit of contrast in the bowl and looks really neat. All right. So I'm going to get my pan ready, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I have gotten a small ceramic bowl here, and I'm just going to line it with the parchment paper. Okay. all that in there and we're just going to pour it in our bowl. It's going to look so neat. All right. That looks good. I don't want to mess it up too much. Okay, I'm going to pop this in my refrigerator for about two or three hours. Now, it could just take two hours depending on the level that you want, but I'm going to leave mine in there for at least two hours, and then I'm going to check back on it and see what it looks like. So I will meet you back when this gets done. Okay, so we are back. It's been about, it took about three, three and a half hours. Um, but I did mine kind of thick, so I think that's why it took so long. So you might do a little bit thinner. All right, so we're gonna take it out of our dish. And see, my dish is pretty well thick. Right, we're just going to peel this back. Slice 
miss it. Now it kind of is still a little bit soft, but not too bad. And it is pretty thick if I hold that up. It's really thick. Probably one at about half that size. So I think next time I'll do a bigger dish so that way it's not so big. But it cuts really smooth just like the other kind of fudge does. So I'm really happy with it. Turned out good. Give it a little try. Mm. Tastes like chocolate peanut butter fudge. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. So I hope you like this video. If you do, give me that thumbs up and please share with all your friends. Um, subscribe to my channel so you can see when there's more uh, videos out there. So uh, thanks for watching. Y'all have a blessed day.